Venus in Aquarius, what is it and why is it important? What does it have to do with your relationship? This is what I would love to talk about in this video. And by the way, welcome to my channel. I am Larimar and for those of you who are new, I am all about becoming the best self and inspiring you to become the best self. Astrology is one of the greatest tools I've personally found to increase my self-awareness and understand the life in general. So if you have this position or if your close one has this position and you're looking to understand where they're coming from, stick around and you, you will discover what kind of relationship you or those people need in order to be fulfilled emotionally. So Venus in Aquarius, what is it? When you have this position, you would have relationship needs for friendship. It's because Aquarius is a sign of friends. So you value socializing, networking, and human interaction in general. Your partner would be like a lifelong friend. You would thrive in relationship where you're allowed to share and exchange ideas freely. And you'll be attracted to someone who's quirky, unusual, but intellectual and smart. Someone Aquarian. Your partner doesn't necessarily have Aquarius sun rising or moon sign. But from your perspective, no matter who you interact with, your significant partner especially would have this Aquarius qualities. What you're learning in relationship this lifetime is to socialize and pursue a common goal. For example, if you're in a marriage or in a long-term relationship, it's better to have a common goal to pursue together with your partner such as raising an X amount of money or raising kids together or doing business. It's because Aquarius rules socioeconomic goals and either you or your partner would be into social causes of some sort. Your relationship would be somewhat unusual. You can also have some distance between your partner. It could be physical distance. You can have a long distance relationship because Aquarius is ruled by Saturn. Saturn rules distance and cold. So even if you are in an intimate relationship, your partner and you would need to have personal distance. It's not so much about emotionally attached relationships. You can thrive in environments where you're allowed to express yourself individualistic, even if you come across a bit quirky and unusual and progressive. With this position, you also have the need for change, unpredictable elements. Aquarius is like lightning. It's inconsistent. You can never predict. So your partner can have these qualities. Also, she or he would be career-wise associated with engineering, technology, cutting-edge technology, and social media, socio-economic, political, environmental causes, humanity, and what else? Aquarius rules a lot of different things. Mostly, it is all about lateral systems, so uh, he or she could be involved in supply chains, or some sort of system organization. In medical fields, Aquarius rules brain, skins, and hormonal systems. But in general, you can be friend with anyone. You can be also drawn to an alternative form of relationships, such as polyamory, something progressive that most people wouldn't accept. Whether you actually practice it would depend on other elements of your birth chart, but 
Venus and Aquarius people are usually open to new concepts and new experiments. They are down for experimenting, excitement, anything new and progressive ideas. And you can find love interest from your friends, circle zone. Yeah, so your spouse or girlfriend, boyfriend or significant love interest tends to be friendly, very sociable, and but at the same time, kind of aloof and detached. He or she could be very intellectual and left-brained and, and into anything progressive. As long as you can stay independent, you can have a happy relationship. Just note that you can come across too aloof or cold or it can go both way. Your partner have this. Your partner would have this quality. So in that case, make sure to communicate your needs clearly, so you guys can be on the same page and and come up with a good resolution. So I hope this is helpful. And comment below what you resonated with the most. I love reading your comments. And if you liked it, make sure to like this video. And consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't and hitting the bell button so you can get notification every time I post a new video. So thank you and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.